Hey guys, it's Chris Bate with Cheat the Game coming back at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at Destroy All Humans, and I'm just basically going to see what I can find. I think I'm going to go with health and, and stuff, and then maybe later on see if we can find other things. I know I was going to do the Halo thing, but you know, uh, that bid response didn't really get the kind of response I was looking for, so I just decided to move on. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring everything up, and I will be right back with you. Okay, let's see what we can find. <clears throat> Hopefully my computer stops freezing on me. Oh, I don't want to leave. Let's see, change it. There we go. First off, let's get in the game. Alright, there's... We took a hit, so we know that our hit's registered. Or, excuse me, our shield or health is registered. I'm going to start off with the float value. Now, I have not done this yet, so I don't know what value type it would be under. So I'm doing this for the first time as you see it. So Let me get that off the screen. Okay. Okay, we took some damage. We're about to take some more damage, so let's uh, decrease value. Okay, let's go simple values only, also, and get rid of those. See it unchanged. Alright, let's see if we can take some more damage. There's some more. Not sure if that gives us more energy or not. We'll find out in a second. Hang on. Okay. Also, I think it said if we touch water, our hit shield decreases. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, did not see that one coming. All right, looks like we got regenerative health. All right, up. Uh, now let's go unchanged. There we go. Okay, decrease value. Looks like it does regenerate. We're back to full health. Alright, let's see what we got now. Looks like we got some values we can try here. And I like doing values like that. Let's just see what happens. All right, looks like we're holding steady here when we hit that water. So we do know one of these is it. We just need to figure out which one. One's like a graphical value. The other's an internal. We need the internal value. All right. Looks like the bottom one would be the internal. Yep. Looks like that's the bottom one. So it looks like we do, did find our health, which was fairly easy. Let's go ahead and delete that record. Right off the bat, let's go ahead and find out what accesses the address. Let's take a look, see what's going on with it. 
we see something's constantly right into it let's see what happens when we take some damage let's step in the water now we may also take different damage when we were shot at so we want to keep that in mind so we want to see if anything else pops up when we take damage instead of something that's constantly accessing it and these all popped up when we took damage and these are the ones that we uh, let's see what happens when it regenerates maybe we need to take more damage before it regenerates oh hang on right, let's try that again let's bring this back up alright paint damage All right, let's see if something pops up when we regenerate. There it goes. All right, but we can see everything that's being accessed. So it looks like these right here are the ones that are only accessed when we take damage. So, and we know that this right here is writing to it. So let's go to it in memory. And we can see the attraction, everything's happening right here. We see XMMO is writing to the value. Bear with me just a moment. Let's see if anything else is being accessed by that opcode. There's a part of the hand, so let's zap him. Okay. Okay, there and there we are. Alright. So we do know that other addresses are being shared. Here's us, here's the farm hand we just killed. So let's go ahead and give ourselves infinite health while we look up a way to compare out. And bear with me a second. I'm going to save quite frequently of what I've got because my computer keeps freezing. I don't want to lose uh, the work. So bear with me just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop up a couple more enemies in here. And we need to compare out. So let's do that. Alright, let's see. And there's another one. Alright. So we know that this is us so we're going to mark that we're going to find commonalities and mark selection as group one and it'll bring everything else into group two automatically we want to take a look at our base address right quick which is uh, rvx let me try that again mark that as group one there we go now what we want to do is scan for commonalities and we know that ours is RBX well, we can look at these also these can be used as a source of compare uh, basically I, what I normally do is take a screenshot of it then go back into the game later refine all this and then see if anything stayed the same I'm not doing that this time we're just gonna do it basically so we're going to double click on that and let's scan and we want to save let me uh, create a folder All right, like I say I hadn't even made a folder for this I hadn't even done it yet so you're, I'm doing it this is one of the first vids I made where I haven't done it first and then showed you I'm doing it recording it as I'm doing it so there we go I'm gonna put a one at the end. There we go. Okay, good. Now I did not do find matching groups, so I wanted to see everything of what's going on. You don't always have to have find matching groups, even though those are the best ones to use. 
All right. But as you can see here, we can see all kind of different things. Uh, basically, well, I look for all zeros like this. Uh, something that enemies share together. Or something that's completely different that doesn't look like it changes. Now you can see that these are float values right here. If I change these to float, you can see these are float values. I'm going to keep it on 4 byte. And what I want to do is, you know, I can try either one of these two, or either one of these two, or some of these. Look, all of them two here. This is a four. So you got many that you can try. And what I want to do is, I'm just going to take a screen print and save that picture, and use it later. What I normally do is, I bring up Paint. And I'll just save the shot of it like that and that way when I go back and do it again later I can see what it was in the past versus now and if things are staying the same those are usually your good offsets so for right now I'm just gonna pick a random one I'm gonna go with like 38 because they're all zeros or we can use 3c or any of them but I'm gonna choose uh, the 38 since all the enemies are zero in it let's stop that and let's go over to our main view I don't know what there we go. So the subtraction and everything is going to occur. Also, what we could do is see if there's maybe uh, like a cap value. Sometimes they're side by side, sometimes not. Uh, let's uh, change the display type to float. Doesn't look like a uh, cap value is located close to it. This could be. A cap up here but we don't know they got several 12s up here so that's not really going to help us that much we can investigate it further but you know let's see what we got in the XMM O registers or the XMM registers right quick and I'm looking for a 12 and see if maybe a 12 is hell and don't look like it so I'm not really going to use right now we could possibly find the cap value for it later, then go back and substitute it. But for right now, we just want to get infinite health. All right. So let's go ahead and start an auto assemble. We'll go ahead and do an AOB injection. Call this health one. Right off the bat, let's go ahead and get our compare out of the way. CMP, which will compare it out on RBX Plus. And what was the uh, offset we've chosen? 38. We're going to use 38, and we're going to compare that to the enemy's value, because they're all zero. Or you could compare it to... Or you compare it to your hero, but we don't know if that's going, if that changes or not. I'm not even sure what that float value represents. So I prefer to go ahead with zero because it doesn't look like it registers enemies for that value at all. So that's that's what I'm going with. So we're going to go jump if equal to code. So any enemy that's a zero or any value that's a zero is going to jump over here, or they'll continue receiving damage. And then down here, we're just going to jump return. And where it does not write so our hero will not meet the condition and it'll jump down here and we're not having it write anything it's just going to jump back to the main program enemies are going to jump to code or it's going to write the new health value and then jump back so we're just having it not write the new health value let's assign that to the current cheat table let's turn off that health we're going to put this uh, health test Okay, and let's turn that on. Now let's go back to the game and just let them well on us. And take a look. We're not receiving any damage whatsoever. And they still are. Looks like that gives us some kind of points and everything. So that is a good infinite health. And like I say, normally what I like to do is I like to go in there and 
see if maybe I can find a cap and have our cap value right then just have it correlate with our with our health if we go up levels or anything like that uh, we could definitely do that let me close that out for right now but uh what I want to uh, say is I'm sorry it's been a while my work schedule has been extremely hectic plus I've had some major computer problems I had to fix and I ha I've lost a lot of information on here so now I have uh, my group got me talked into saving my stuff online which I'm now starting to do so I don't lose stuff in the future so uh, please forgive me for the delay I wanted to get something out I know this is so basic and everything but I am going to be doing some more research and uh, see if I can get some more stuff out to you very soon I do have uh, some events uh, working on stuff uh, and uh, they would like to show you some tips and tricks and uh, would like to have her to uh, send some stuff to me and i'm going to post some more vids for you later so i really appreciate you guys' patience with me i'm going to go ahead and see if i can get this up and uh we may continue on with this game we i'll find something else later i don't know but i'm going to uh, go ahead and do some more research for you and get some more stuff out to you very very soon so uh please uh, keep a hold and like i say i'm sorry this is basic but uh I just wanted to get something up for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and cut on out and go ahead and get to work on the next one. And I will see you guys in the very near future. Let me go ahead and thank my partners right quick. These guys keep the game running. These guys are still standing by my side. And I really appreciate it. And uh, couldn't do it without any of you. So I will catch y'all on the next one.